In today's video, we run the 5 best Simhaga builds in 2024. These builds cover all aspects of the game, from chase to healing and from beginner to veteran players. Make sure to subscribe to help us reach 2k and enjoy the video. Alright, we have the Decimator Borgo here and we've got the Solo Cube build. Against an Onryo, apparently. The idea of this build is that we want to just make up for the errors made by our solo Q teammates. We can heal ourselves in the med kit, we can see where they are and see what resources they're using. We've got all the second chances we need. So hopefully we aren't the first chase. Somebody else gets... Okay. Okay. So we're gonna just come anyway. <laughs> Let's just lead it to our teammate, shall we? Hopefully she chases somebody else that isn't us. And... We can get our deli up ASAP. She didn't, she didn't notice we were here. Solid. All right, let's just grab the unhook. Get our deli procs. We can even do a quick little heal on side corner. All right, Onryo's chilling over here. Let's just step it away from the gen for a moment. And I think we can just get away with running through this pallet. She comes around that side. Let's just pull, pick it, run alongside, away from her. And then we can just path over this direction instead. We're going to our pallet here. We're probably going to get hit because of our poor pathing choices here. Hold on. We're not going to need to pull this. Nice. Solid. That was a good stun. Very patient, but it worked out. Let's just head up to here, round. We drop off and spin. Oh my god, that hit was disgusting. Let's just run the shack instead. I'm okay with going basement, because that's why we have Delhi. I do now realise that the teammates are chilling over here, and that's not particularly very helpful. However... Uh, that's not their problem, not mine. So, that's kind of for me, to be honest. And let's just start to heal ourselves with a medkit, honestly. We have two full heals in this thing. And I'm okay to trade for this unhook in a minute. We need to stop going down basement in a way that we can't escape it. So, maybe if I go uh, grab this unhook, it'll break this cycle. It will get away from this end of the map. No, 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 go next to my lobbies, not today. Today we are winning. I don't know why you're behind me when you're the one who should be taking the hit. Nice. Paul. Nice. Good home. Hold on a second one. Nah, no two. No two. However, uh, we can just keep running this. We don't need to halt that. Let's just keep running this. And... Hold on. Does she double back? She does double back. She's probably going to halt in, right? No, we can halt out here then. She swings at the window. We can bring it around this side. We're looking okay here. Let's make her swing. She doesn't swing. Okay, let's just pull the shark pallet. Okay, we didn't quite make it. And... TP. Solid. Alright. We pull with Delhi, and off we pop. There we go. Two gens remaining. Self unhook out the basement in. 15 seconds endurance because we did it ourselves. There she is again. Let's run the shack again. <laughs> this is why we had dead hard, because inevitably we are going to get tunneled off hook. Ah, uh, didn't path that correctly. Hold on, I can just path away this way now. Away from the shack. Possibly towards this window while those guys just do the gens that they're trying to work. We should make this window in time. Hopefully this isn't that weird one that makes you glitch. Okay, we're fine. Uh, this is a pretty long wall. We can probably halt this one or two more times. Let's take this again. Run it around this side. What the fuck is this? Why have I path to this? That is the worst tile I've ever- Where's Killer gun? What? Hello? Okay, I guess we path to the edge map pallet. We have our dead heart and make it in time. We're dead hard now. What the fuck is that? No! Hold on. Swing at the window. Nice. We take it this time. And now we're pretty much just dead. That's okay though. <laughs> Hopefully once we get unhooked here, we lock our dead hard in a more usable state than this unreal whiffing on the pallet for no reason. Please don't trade. Okay. I don't think we can take this hit. No. We don't have a med kit. To, sorry, we don't have a beam to get a. Oh, we are really tunneling. Ow. Oh, leave me alone. Hold on. Let's just fake out going that way. We're an actual fact. Swing. Okay, she doubles back. Nice. We make it to this pallet now. I don't think we get out anymore, though. She tunnels like this. Hold on. I, pr I, pr I pressed my dead hard and it didn't proc. Hello? Okay. I guess we take the death, but they get the three out. Our next build here is the auto healing build, one I've rinsed and repeated so many times because it's just such a fantastic build to use. Now, the idea of this build is that we never ever need to sit down and get healed. By healing others, we can 
heal ourselves and make healing near the end of the game so much easier with our autodidact. Alright, looks like game has gone down over here. So let's just head that way and hopefully in a moment we can grab the unhook and start to farm up our autodidact stacks so that by the time we reach later in the game, we're at like three or four and there's no deficit from the first couple. So there's our first stack coming in immediately here. And that gets us immediately out the deficit caused by having this perk. Hopefully we can get two or even three on this one heal here. So actually we can go in and take a hit for the ash here maybe. And that will mean that we can get our perks up in a little bit. I don't want to just sandbag on the same pallet though. Let's come in and make this hit actually impactful. Nice. Let's just come in here and take this next hit. And then we can start to use our auto healing build once the ash gets out of chase in a moment. I'm happy to take this hit on this pallet here. Solid. And now we can just dip out in this direction, honestly. Let's just head this way. And yeah, he's going to chase the ash. Solid. We don't ever need to get healed by anybody here. We can just wait for somebody else to take a hit, the ash to take it down, whatever happens really. And when we get the unhook, we can pretty much heal ourselves from doing the heal on the ash. We possibly even got some reactive healing value when he went down. I don't honestly know. But I guess we found out here and we do the healing. Yeah, we got half. Solid. This should heal us to fallen on this heal. We could hopefully farm up some more skill checks as well for the autodidact. Okay, there we go. There's our full heal in there as well. Solid. Good form. That's some really good solidarity value. Really good build value. We're at two stacks on the autodidact. Hold on. Spin? Nah. No spin. If he commits here, then we, I guess we can just pop our med kit in a moment. And that's the other kind of auto heal we get with having this build. Let's hold that check spot. Pull this pallet. And let's just head this way into the map here. If the Jake dies for us, we actually get our reactive healing pop. Uh, he's going to come around that side. We have to run this side. Let's just pull this and pop our medi and head in this direction to the back of the map. Oh, he's TP'd somewhere behind us. Okay, let's just hold W from the gen then. I don't even know if we have any resources over here. Using these walls to stop them shredding is probably our only best course of action. There's no spin in here, that's a shame. We don't have a pallet in this tile though, so we can just come around and pull that. He does waste his shred on this. I don't think we have many, if any, more resources back here. Oh, we do have this one, hold on. Let's just step it round. Keep it going. Still keeping it going. Nice, we have the pallet. We can honestly do another rotation on this because he's really ambitious with where and when he shreds. Let's pre throw out this rotation because we don't want to get too greedy and get hit over it. And then we can just do a huge kick on that window to make him double back. And I'll do. Okay, let's just step it back into this tile. We did burn the pallet earlier, but we do have this window on the inside, which is going to be really big because this guy loves to aggressively swing. These guys can take hits. We can get our build going super, super easily as well. We Unironically, oh, might want to just go down for the resurgence here. We still haven't proc that perk yet. So, before the end game, it might be nice to get some value out. Oh, solid. I'm okay taking that there. Honestly, we get pulled. We get our resurgence value in. I don't think that's going to work. Oh my god, of course it fucking works. <laughs> There's no way you just hit that shit like a bitch, bro. So, we do want to head this way and maybe take a hit for him. Oh, he, he did heal. Hold on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Hopefully, somebody can pull us here and take a hit. And we can... Oh, that kills our resurgence by taking that, doesn't it? Shit. Nice. Jack takes a hit. That's our reactive healing coming in. Hold on, Jack. Let me heal you quick. Let me heal you quick. Let me get my autodidact in and solidarity will heal us fully up again. And we can go back and get that Jake in a second. Hold on. Skill check. We're full health again. Nice. Okay, we can still recover this Jake from the claw. He crawls the correct side. Like that. And now we just pick him from the claw. And we can just take a hit for him. Good form. Alright, we need a beeline to the gate now. Oh, we're getting run on this pallet. Uh-oh. Oh my god, the Jack! The Jack's crazy. We hit window. Somehow. Nice. Let's just step it back around to here again. Um, I guess we just hit this again. Hopefully Ash can waste a little bit of time here. 
We can make it up at that gate. Hold on. Uh, a lot of things are happening right now. Hold on. As we pass the check here, if we can hit an auto didact skill check, we can get full healed. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we're full healed. Auto didact, please come in sometime now. Okay. This perk is not always very reliable. Let's just step it. Keep it going around here. I don't mind taking a hit. I'm honestly okay to take a hit. He wastes a shred. Let's just... Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take a hit. We can even take it down here if we have to. It's honestly going to be fine. He drops all of us, though. We can just heal over here. If Jack's got that gate, we have this gate over here. And that should be the easy, cheeky little fall route here with the auto healing build. This build's always reliable. This is my first try at this. We just need to help the Jake get out here, and then we're fine. What side's he coming from? Uh, I don't really know where he's going, to be honest. Hold on. Okay, let's just take that hit. Oh, bad. Hold on, I might have to navigate the pillar and not get shredded here. Nice. Solid. Alright, we've got a game here with the blood map build. This is one of my personal favourites because it's such a unique idea and yet it's so incredibly strong. The way we need to start this off is we need to get ourselves the totem that we see over there. With the billies going to chase us off the bat, we can't do that yet. Hold on. Alright, let's take window. And he's going to vault out? No. He can't curve that quite though, so let's just keep running the shack for a moment. Uh, we have to free throw the pallet, because otherwise we're just going to get hit with the soul. It's a bit of a waste of card gens, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. I think that might be a uh, tinkerer on the billy there as well. Hold on. Let's just hold the pallet real quick. Nice. Okay, let's just keep it stepping. We can pull that. That was an unnecessary movement to pull in. Oh, I forgot he had endured. We shouldn't have halted that. But we didn't really have much choice, though. So, poor oh, kind of about a billy there. Let's just step around the back and take the portal downwards. We can probably make this in time, right? Yeah, we're looking good. I guess we just take this totem, get our inner strength procs, and how come that's not him heading here? Oh, God. Does he know? He does now, okay. We're gonna have to step it through here again. We're in a bit of a tough predicament here. But, uh, let's just path it to this tile here while he breaks that pallet. And we can run this pallet, I guess? He's got his tinker gem this time. Okay, let's just go find ourselves another totem. Oh, not in that direction. Not in that direction, hold on. So let's take this as soon as we can here. No, he doesn't actually know we're on this. Oh, yes, he does. Does he? No, he doesn't! Oh my god, there's no fucking way he didn't see that, bro. This guy is genuinely, like, getting his guide dog to play for him. Oh my god, okay, let's just hop lock for our inner strength, then. He doesn't know we're in. Nobody knows we're in here. Alright, this game back comes and unhooks us. We can just take hits for them now. With our endurance and... Hold on. Hit me now. He doesn't want it. He genuinely doesn't want it. That's really irritating. We should be okay to get a heal off now. If we can get that perk back up straight away again in a minute. If we pull this one here, that'll be our second in our strength prop. But we still don't have any Metal Man yet. Oh my god. All he does is fucking know where I am exactly. This is really irritating. Like, oh my god, this guy genuinely like has no eyes. Tinkerer. Okay, I guess we just get this healing, we can go pull up on that hook. And hopefully we can start to take some hit screens of people to get our Metal Man ready, because otherwise we're going to get out this game before we can actually get cold potential out of this build. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was bad. Hold on. Uh, do I have anything here? Anything that we have the window. We're going to have to take it. Okay. Take window, bring it round. Portal. Round it out again. The beauty of this build is we've got a... Plenty of tracking on plenty of things, so we have plenty of options at all times. This is our Sable, so we need to take a hit for her on this pallet here, ideally. All just out in the open. Hold on, get a bit closer to the gamer so it counts as a protection. Is this a card shit? Oh, it's a card for me too. This gamer pulls us. We need them to take the first hit. Nice. We take the second with our Endurance. There's two. And then we come back and pull this unnecessarily. Step around here. 
Oh my god, there's potential in this build still. Hold on a moment. We can pop our inner strength in a moment. I really hope he doesn't see us in this bush here. It doesn't hang eyes, as we know from before, so we should be okay here. Let's go around here. Let's tr track the teammates real quick. They're both on at that end of the map. Do we see the executes? Okay, that's one over there. This one's not been touched yet. So, I reckon we pull the unhook. And now we can just take two hits here. Hold on. If he picks her, we just need to take one singular hit here. And that'll ready our Metal Man for a moment's time. Nice. Okay, let's run back into the map. Let's grab our heal from a totem. There's an orchestrated plan here. We just need to execute it. Step one, we heal Sable. Honestly, it might be quicker to just let her heal us in 16 seconds and it would be to cleanse the totem, I think. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back in and get that or not. Hold on. Nah, not happening. Alright, that's a little pursuer nemesis here. Let's see if he decides to act on us being over here. That's going to be a strong start to this chase build. We have all the aura reading perks we could possibly need here. To basically just track him wherever he goes. We have no windows here. That's a shame. Can we fuck him on the corner? No. Oh, we do spin his whip, though. Hold on. Let's come through here. I don't mind taking an M1 there and passing it to this side of the map. Hold on a minute. Let's vault in here. Come round. Let's pop the key real quick. See where he's passing. Okay, we can get away. We're going all the way over to Shack now. We get stuck in the hook in the corner. We might have to throw the pallet. Nah. We hit window. Solid. There's our object proc. So we seem to have five seconds on the shack here. And we just take this in really wide and show the past cult. Let's step it back around to this side. Let's pop the key so we can track where he's going with us. Oh my god, that hook. Oh my god, that hook. We have to patter this pallet here. Hold on, we make it just. We come back and we miss the stun. However, we do get eight seconds of horror reading here. Because of Troubleshooter and Isa Belmont. Hold on. Let's pre-throw this one as well. Throw it around the side. Oh, a zombie's coming in close to him here. That's going to be rough. But we do have plenty of distance on him here. Hold on. Let's pop the key real quick. He's all the way no, no, Oh my god. Over. I forgot about the zombies. Alright. Let's just take the quick heal here. Oh my god. God, he's mind gaming that. W oh my god, our screen perks actually got a, a come tunnel. That's so terrible. Why is a zombie here as well, man? Hold on. We're going to have to step all the way around here. We burned all the resources on and by Shaq. This is a slight alteration on the last time I did this build. So if you want to see me run this build again for a new video, do let me know in the comments and we can run it back with a new perk. I'm probably better off just popping it, to be honest. He does have barbecue. We see him. Or it's six, it's second seconds on his end, so it's nine on ours with as a Belmont. Doesn't look like we can take. Wait, hold on. Maybe if we all take hits here, this person gets off. Hold on. We don't want to kill ourselves for this. Nice. Hold on. Pro pallet. I don't have a beam here, but mm, nah, that's not gonna reach. There's no point in burning that. Let's just come through here. Hold on. Backshot on the zombie. Oh, you're kidding, man. Every time I get close on these gens, we get pressured by the zombies instead. It's so inconvenient. Hold on. I can't realistically heal. now. I can't heal this because that zombie. Hold on. This might have to be a hatch angle, but we can use the key for that purpose. And he does see us with barbecue healing over here. But because we have our object, we get the heal done just that little bit quicker before he makes his way over to here. He does seem to want to chase the Lara. I don't think we help her here. We're not going to all get out here. Let's just try and do the gem we were trying to do earlier. And if she dies, we just dip out and go... Kind of, okay. I think he heard what I was saying. He knew that I wasn't going to go for the unhook. Let's just come around here. There's no windows at all on the top here. Which is really problematic for us. Let's just take that hit. Step it around here. Use the key on this wall. We can't really lose it. Okay, let's just keep it stepping. I'm going to pre-throw this. And that's going to give us the aura reading for a little bit. To be able to path and make decisions based on where he is. Let's take that hold and head around to here. Maybe that wasn't the play. Fuck on the corner? Nah. Oh my god, Laura Chad coming in 
to get the unhook. I didn't expect her to actually want to do this. We need to take that and we need to leave. Uh oh. Hold on, window. Let's just take that speed boost from the hit and head out this way. And if she goes down, we're just going to hop lock behind us because he's going to see us with barbecue. He's going to see us with our object. Let's just stick on this gen as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Let's just hop lock. I guess we're just going to have to be careful around the object and careful around the scene partner because he can track us with the scene partner too. Uh oh. Okay. A zombie did track us there. Let's just make sure we are. Is that a old med kit? It's got enough charges in it, I think. Or a heal. Hold on. Uh oh. Okay. Final tango around here, then, I guess. That zombie's gonna swing. We should be able to hit this window pretty confidently. And then what? I don't really know what we have. We have this pallet. This is a shit pallet. Uh, no getting out of this game. It's been a tough one. Alright, we've got a cheeky little Wesker on the dead dog for our gen build here. Which is pretty good, because we need stakeout stacks. And it's incredibly easy to get them when the killer has such a big terror radius. Um, let's just play the shack while we can here. Hold on, I can make it through here. Okay, I can't make it through here. I don't think he... Yeah, we didn't hit anything at least. Okay, we can just come around here instead then. And play this pallet for a couple of minutes. We're not going to get any stakeout stacks by being in chase, unfortunately. But we can't... Oh, the pallet's there. Uh-oh. Hold on. I don't think you can make this now. If we run it around that side instead. Okay, well, looking good. And he's probably just going to drop chase here because he didn't... Okay, I was going to say he didn't hit us, so... He doesn't have a reason to chase us, but he does seem to want to. Which is rare for killers in... Oh, hello. 2024, I was going to say. Let's just step it back over this way then, I guess. We need to remember we can't really play anything that relies on a window. Uh, there's no mid-map killer here, which is really inconvenient. Okay. These games are about to pop another chain, so that might refresh where the Deja Vu location is. Okay, he knows we're here, so he might drop and come around to here. It looks like he won't, though. Let's just drop this here and head up to the Gallows Gen, because we've got plenty of time to act if we see him coming towards it. We have full stakeout stacks, and we have all our teammates here, so Blitz on this gen in 30 seconds is absolutely viability with this build. Alright, we've got two great skill checks on our own accord, so now all the stakeout stacks can be dumped in once we have um, six stacks of hyperfocus, and we can progress this gen so quickly we might not even burn the- okay, I was gonna say we might not burn the full toolbox. Alright, that's our toolbox burn. We still have Deja Vu, and we can still hit our own skill checks normally. We should be able to pop this before he comes over. I don't really even need it though, I think we're looking good here. We'll just hit it anyway for the scavenger value. We're looking pretty good going into the end game here. We want to do the water tower gen, as that'll probably break the 3 gen. He is slugging and patrolling his gens, because he knows he's running out of time. We can hit another skill check before he comes here. That would be lovely to get our toolbox refilled and use the downtime when he comes over this way. Nice, that's our downtime, perfectly timed. Now we can go into the map. We can even sabo the hook that's over here. Let's just run it around here. Another moment. We can just sabo this hook right here with our toolbox. And, oh, the hook spread on this map's diabolical. I completely forgot that there's no way in hell we're going to be able to sabo say, on this map. Run it around here, we're going to have to... Okay, I was going to say, there's not a lot of movement space here. We need to just run up to the main, where there isn't gens. We can run to this pillar on the main building here. And that'll get him out the way of those guys and buy them plenty- Why is he opening that door? Hello? I see his red stain. Yep, okay, let's just head to the top of the main. And if we die, that's perfectly fine with me. Let's hit, hit the window, okay. Why the fuck is he- Okay, here, bro. You're not hitting this, I won't let you. No thank you, not today. Okay, I guess we take a hit and we can run main again. Nice. And we just take ourselves back up to the top again. Even if we die this game, these teammates can get the gens done in their own time, but I would rather stick out as long as we can. Let's just take the medium on this. Head back to the center street. We have this pallet here. Yeah, I don't really know where to pack from here. Okay, let's just let him take that gamer. The gen has popped. No terminus from the west guy either. So I guess this is just a sabo toolbox for us now, but that's going to be okay. We can heal up if we have to. 
with the Meg. And we can also just head in the direction of the gate. He does see our location. We need to run for this pallet instead. If we just hold W to the shack, we can free throw the fuck out of it. Don't need to leak it there. If he bombs inwards, then we can just bolt out as well. Come on. Yeah, yeah, bam in. Nice. And we just run around this side. As long as he's not coming that way, which he isn't. Where? Uh oh. I was going to say we're looking pretty safe, but we're really not. We're on this pallet here. Pull! Oh, we didn't quite make it. Oh, and he throws us at the wall. That's a shame. But he does pick. Oh, are you not going to go for the sabo? Wait, she might still make it. She does still make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we might on our own wiggle here. If this sable blocks the hook, we can potentially wiggle here. What? Oh, that's such a rock end, man.